give you the shivers, a box office killer, jump scares and a nightmare, have a seat, if you dare, don't be shy, I'll play fair, a box office killer, baby there ain't no drama here, just a high grade thriller, I'm a vested giant to hear, how I found the scare, grab some popcorn and have a seat, you won't miss the murder, baby I'm the main state of feed, a box office killer, baby I'm no filler, number one. Well, what's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another of my videos. Excited to start this one out in front of the Golden Gate Bridge. One of the best places to fish in my opinion. And I got my friend Eric with me today. We both love fishing this spot. We've had some really good success over the years fishing this exact spot here for halibut. So pretty excited to uh, get these live anchovies down. And we want to get him some halibut to bring home. We're getting towards the end of the season here. God, we're in fall now, getting to October. I can't believe it. It's been an amazing halibut season. He's been real busy. You haven't really got halibut this year? Uh, I've not. You? Nope. But yeah, anyway, he wants to get some, put them in his freezer. So that's the plan today. Get Eric some halibut. So we'll see if we can get some big ones. All right, let's get these lines down. So you guys have probably seen by now, but I use this three hook anchovy rig that I made up. Just looks so deadly when you got three anchovies on the line. So we have a really fast drift this morning, faster than I thought it would be. We're going two and a half miles per hour. I'm not sure this will work. Um, but we're using a one pound ball. We're hitting bottom pretty good there. So uh, high tide should be about hour and a half, two hours. Um, and then we got a slow outgoing. Alright, first fish of the day. You want to mark that spot? Top yeah. line. Oh, yeah. Ooh, got some fight in there. Top left. It hit okay, yeah. Oh, whoa. Nice. I don't know. Like the swoop ahead came on. Where is it? In the bag. In the thing down there. This isn't the halibut. No? No. You want me to wear it or you wear it? You wear it. My guess is it's like a shark. Yeah? Probably. Just got off. Really? I think it cut the line. I'm pretty sure it was a shark. Yeah? What kind of shark? I don't know. Oh. Yep, line broke. So, I'm pretty sure we had a shark on there. How's my guess? But the line, I mean, look at that. It looks like it's, it's like cut. You see how it's like? Yeah. You think that's a thrasher shark? I don't know. I don't think so. Well, if you guys saw my last video when I was fishing over by Alcatraz, pretty close to this spot, caught two sharks that day. So pretty sure that was another one there. Slow start to the morning. We've gotten a few drifts in now. Uh, nothing to report besides the one fish that cut the line. Pretty sure that one was a shark. Uh, we did see a boat recently just catch a halibut though, so that was an encouraging sign. Um, we're kind of getting to the top of the tide right now. We're slowing down a little bit. Oh, there's something on the surface over there, sharp. I wonder if that's the shark I hugged. What is that? It's a shark swimming on the surface. Oh, I just went down. So, um, yeah, getting on top of the tide. We finally slowed down our drift 1.1 mile per hour. So we took off the 16 ounce weights, have eight ounce weights on now. I think it's time to get one. Taking off the three hook rig when the current was moving fast, got it bunched together and tangled and floral line has so much memory in it. So it's just, it's kind of getting all bunched together. It doesn't look good. And I don't have another one tied up. So go to a good old conventional rig. Right now, the rod on the starboard side has a halibut on. Sometimes they bite so soft and drift with the boat like this one is doing. If the rod has a soft tip, it bounces with the movement of the boat. With a trained eye, you can tell when that bounce gets off rhythm, and that's generally fish on. You want? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. Eric doesn't even know yet. 
<laughs> yeah. Eric's going with the six footer, huh? Keeper. It's a nice gaff. I'm happy I got one, huh? Yeah, we got one. <laughs> Let's get it on. Feels good to get one. Top of the tide. Eric said 26. I think I pretty much agree with that. Go ahead and lay it down. And that's 26. No, no pre measurements either. <laughs> Number two. This one feels pretty big. Lots of good runs on it. It's a biggie. Go slow. That is a big fish, guys. Here it comes. Slow. Oh, that's what our issue is. People eat that, huh? Yeah, they say it's really good. I mean, if you fillet it, I'll eat it. All right. Another uh, three-foot leopard shark. Last time out, got one as well. Well, the uh, leopard shark was sure lucky it bit my line and got released, I guess. Because right when I did, the boat next to was like, why would you release that? They're good eating. I mean, yeah, I've heard that. I've never kept one, but I guess I just have a... Uh, albacore and halibut and link caught in my freezer so why kill another fish to bring home and eat a little bit and freeze up so not hurting for the fish meat so that one got to live and eric didn't want it so we'll see if we can get some more halibut here so it's a uh, sunday right now we got some uh, red zone on the phone pretty fun watching football while fishing right Two hand lines. And then this Four is what caught it with the tuna. <laughs> no, that one caught a 20 pound albacore. So that one went off. And it was, I thought that was the big eye. But uh, it was just an albacore. And so the one that caught the big eye was this. Uh oh, oh. I think we have another shark here. Kind of the same head shakes. The vertical is good though. Usually other species move side to side. Oh, how about... Oh, get it. Is that keeper? Yo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that surprised both of us. Well, you give us a Oh yeah, that's great. Another good gaff shot. Good fight him. And did. You have very good accuracy with a six foot gaff. Yeah, the six foot gaff is so much easier. Is it? So much easier. <laughs> it's just like boom, you're right there. Well, good thing for Eric, they allow boat limits, so I can keep fishing and get two more for him. <laughs> no, I hope Eric gets one here. He hasn't. Oh, you haven't fished? this summer for halibut no nothing too busy with work and no had, had a, a new baby boy right. turns well, one in what a month yeah about one month yeah uh, two kids life's busy well, hopefully we can get you next fish here 
Let's do it. Exact same as the last one, basically. 26. Wow. Stoked to get two 26 inches right in front of the Golden Gate Bridge. That's a pass! That's a shovel pass! That's a f pass! It's a trick play. You're right, Apple Bottom is a good thing. Oh, we're on. Yeah? Yeah. Get Eric a fish here. How do feel? It feels pretty good. Oh yeah, that's pretty big. There we go. Nice. It's like 26. Again. Again, yeah. <laughs> Again. Alright. We got 27 finally. 26, 26 uh, and three <laughs> triplets. Well, the Akuma Komodo and Akuma Monterey are on fire today. And this is a legit setup for halibut fishing, drifting or trolling. You got one. Eric. The moment Eric has been waiting for. Looks smaller, what? Uh, watch out for this thing. 26. No, it's gone off. Jesus, go on the other side of it below it. Dude, it ripped. I'm sorry. To get this skirt. Yeah, it's just this gap so long I reached for it. Bring it over here. Alright, we got him. We got him. <laughs> Look at that bad gap job. That's right. I got him. On Eric's rod. <laughs> got him. Well, so don't be like Eric. He takes my side and catches a fish out of my fishing hole. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wanted him to finally get one there. So his first halibut of the year. It's good for him. And what a halibut season it's been. So we got our limits. We got four. We're going to head in. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. We'll catch you on the next one. What a day out here by the Golden Gate Bridge. Thank you. You're welcome.